Hey everybody, it's Zori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm going to show you something that almost all of you ask, which is in Google Analytics 4, how do I add the conversion rate column to my reports? It doesn't exist. I used to use the Universal Analytics and it was there. I could very easily see it. For example, if I go here to Universal Analytics, an old, old report, I can see the e-commerce conversion rate or my goal conversion rate, things like that. I could always have a percentage, which is basically the traffic divided by the number of conversions or goals, etc. How do I do that in Google Analytics 4? And this video is going to show you how to do it very, very simply. It's very, very easy. All you need to do is go to the report that you want to add it to. For example, I want to go to my traffic sources. I can see my data and I'm going to go to the top and click on customize report. There's going to be a pencil. Make sure you're an admin of Google Analytics 4. In order to be admin, you have to go to admin, have enough permissions. Click on the pencil right here and you're going to click on metrics right here, which are the columns. And all you're going to need to do is basically go down here and add the session conversion rate and user conversion rate, which I've added already, you'll see here. So basically you'll have this. If I type in conversion rate, I'm gonna have two, session conversion rate and user. I wanna add both of them. Let's add the second one. So I'm gonna have both of these. And then when I apply that, it'll, see, it'll be visible right here. You can see it at the end. I can actually drag it to the beginning. I can move them. For example, maybe I wanna move them right here a little bit higher and I'm going to click on apply and you can see here that they're right here session and user and then all I'm going to actually need to do is go to the top save it in my current report click on save okay and then I'm going to go back to my reports very simply and it's just going to be there right here so you see my session traffic acquisition and if I go right here I'm going to have session conversion rate and user conversion rate what is the difference between the two session is a visit of a specific visitor to your website that has some kind of activity within 30 minutes once they stop using the the website for 30 minutes their session is gone if they come back an hour later or a day later it'll become a new session it could be the same visitor but it will be a new session the same the user is the, the same person that came or the same visitor excuse me that came again and again that was recognized which which could mean that one user could have multiple sessions but depends on on the visitors so you want to add both of them they're a little bit different metrics now one very important thing to note is the conversion rates are going to be obviously the traffic divided by the number of times the conversion happens and the conversion rate happens on all of the conversions not the events the events if you're familiar right here the conversions so whatever you've marked as conversions for example, all conversions, or you can filter by specific, for example, purchase for e-commerce or something you've defined. So it is only conversions. It is not events if you're familiar with that. So it's not events. You can only do it if you've configured an event to be a conversion. How do you do that? You go to admin right here and you go to events right here and these are all the events that you have in the system if you've taken a specific event and you've actually marked it as a conversion for example we have this engaged conversion or a, a engaged event that is a conversion then it'll be in a conversion you can see it either all conversion percentages or the specific one via the drop down that you have i hope this makes sense i hope i didn't talk too fast but please view, uh, view the video. And as always, if you have any questions about specific things about this video, you want to go in more detail, your specific case is a little different. You're not sure the differences. You can ask us as always in the comments on our website, contact us, YouTube comments, website comments. You can see all of those things and then you can see reports and we'll be making more and more videos for Google Analytics 4. I hope this makes sense for you guys, and I hope you guys add it and are happy with the conversion rate percentages, and obviously you can filter by the specific ones. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please subscribe, please share, please like, share, send to a friend, all that good stuff. Uh, much appreciated.